Human activities like deforestation and the burning of fossil fuels, like coal, oil, and gas, are changing our climate in ways that pose increasing threats to human well-being in both developing and industrialized nations. The good news is that we can still avoid the most severe impacts of global warming by reducing our emissions of heat-trapping gases and halting and reversing deforestation. However, as we work to reduce these emissions of global warming pollution by investing in renewable energy and by protecting our forests and soils, we must also begin to prepare for the changes already coming by working to better understand the risks and integrating these needs into our development planning. If we were not to dramatically reduce our emissions, the global average temperature is expected to rise as much as four or more degrees Celsius by the end of this century. And that would cause severe damage to natural systems and to human health and well-being. In addition, the destabilization and extensive melting of the Greenland and West Antarctic ice sheets, shown here as the number of days of Greenland ice sheet melting, has increased dramatically since 1979 could cause global sea level to rise between 4 and 12 meters, with each meter causing roughly another 100 million refugees. During these tours, you will also learn about the range of available solutions. You will visualize a new world of renewable energy and see what individuals and communities around the world are doing to both reduce their carbon footprint and adapt to their changing climates. The challenge is huge, and time is short, but together we can solve it.